Good afternoon, everybody. Rather a good evening. This is George DeBobby here at Marable College. The men, the Fighting Scots, with a record of 15 and 5, taking on the Brevard Tornadoes. Brevard Tornadoes coming out of Brevard, North Carolina. They are in a transition from a higher division into NCAA Division III. So uh, this game um, does not count toward the tournament the USA South tournament, but it does count in the NCAA Division III game. So uh, this game does count, but not toward the conference play. Berea, I mean, excuse me, Bavard will be in the conference a full member, I believe, next season. The Bavard Tornadoes with a record of 4-15. and 15. Away, they are 1-8. and eight. Coach Lee Burgess in his fifth season with a record of 32-124. and 124. Marable, Five and 15 right now in control of their own destiny. They lead the Western Division of the USA South by one game. They've got a one game pad, 15 and five at home. This season they are nine and zero. Oh. Uh, they lost the other night to Covenant, 80 to 73, and uh, that put them at 11 and 15. They're currently if a, with a one-game win streak, coached by Randy Lambert, 694 wins, 315 games. So, uh, 315 losses. So, Coach uh, Lambert uh, ready to rock and roll tonight, as is Coach Lee Burgess. Marable, 19 game. Excuse me, Marable. Scores 82 points per game. The Tornadoes, 72.6 points per game. Field goal percentage, Marable at 47% from the field. And the Tornadoes, 43.4. From the three point line, Marable, 38.5%. And, and the Brevard Tornadoes, 38.3. Free throw shooting, Marable at 70.2%. And the Tornadoes at 68.1. Rebounds per game, Marable 39 as a decided edge there to the Bavar Tornadoes 32. So uh, that's a seven point edge. Assist Marable with 14 and the Tornadoes with 12. So that's kind of a quick rundown. Look for Marable to start a couple of different people tonight just uh, as we get late in the season, give a couple people a rest. Uh, but that's all going to be determined by whether or not Marable can uh, do what it needs to do and take care of business. The idea tonight would be to get out as quickly as it can but uh, and work a lead up, get some other people in, get them ready for their next game, which is at Berea on the 10th, which is Saturday. That's an away game. And Marable about ready also to break uh, the home attendance mark. Uh, 10,000 people have plus will have visited after tonight's game. So congratulations to the athletic staff here at Marable to uh, bring people into the Boydson H. Bear Gymnasium. So we're about ready to go here. Marable will be in the white and the Bavard Tornadoes in the royal blue. A um, couple of players that we want to talk about. Jamarcus Johnson is one for the Tornadoes. He'll be wearing number 14. Also, also uh, Stevie Williams, number 11, 13 points per game. And uh, Jamarcus Johnson with 14 points per game. Also, Levi Lamb, 12 points per game and about 10 points per game, Shelby Paris. So they've got four guys that can uh, shoot the ball. They shoot a lot of threes. And uh, last game against Marable, by the way, Bavard was down by two points with 3.9 seconds on the clock. Jamarcus Johnson nailed a three-pointer, giving the Tornadoes a 79-78 victory. It stopped Marable College's nine-game winning streak. Marable during that game had five players in double figures, led by Emmanuel Garcia, 
who scored 14 points off the bench. And Daniel Hoppe, number 20, posted a double-double with 12 points and 10 rebounds. We're going to go ahead and do our national anthem, and we'll be right back. And getting ready to do the starting lineups here at Marable College. The Bavard College Tornadoes. Hello, Mr. Stennett. How are you? For number two for Bavard, five, six feet tall, 160 freshman, Damari Cooper plays 22 and a half minutes about four points per game. Number three, Gaddafi Turner, 5'9", 170, from Atlanta, Georgia. Seven points per game, plays about 17 minutes. Number 10 at 6'4", 160. He's a freshman from Marion, North Carolina. 24 minutes, seven and a half points per game. Also number 11, 6'1", 185, senior guard from High Point, North Carolina. Plays 34 minutes per game, 13 points per game. Stevie Williams, and number 14, the guy that nailed the three against us to beat us at the buzzer, Jamarcus Johnson, 6'1", 175, a sophomore from Mineola, Florida. 14 points per game. So that's Jamari Hopper, Gaddafi Turner, Cannon Land, Stevie Williams, and Jamarcus Johnson. For Marable, and getting a Good start tonight, Emmanuel Garcia for Miami, for Marable, six feet, 175 junior. Also number 10 from Covington, Tennessee. Number 10, 5'11", 170 pound, nine points per game. Caleb Estes, and the unofficial leader of this team, number 20, Dante Hoppe, 6'5", 185 junior, from Naples, Florida, 12 points per game, 31 minutes per game. Also number 20, Number 30, uh, make that number 30, Emir Bowman, 6'3", 180, 28 minutes a game, 12 points per game. Also getting the start tonight, Malcolm Walker, number 22, 6'4", 215 from Nashville, Tennessee, 10 minutes a game, three points per game. So two starters tonight that aren't usually in the lineup, Emmanuel Garcia and Malcolm Walker, and they'll be uh, in there for Colt Noakes and Calvin Songster, who are going to get a little bit of a rest tonight to begin this game. So we get ready to go. Look for the blue-shirted Bavard Tornadoes to run this up and down the court. That's what they do. They're quick. They're fast. And they will be ready to go. And Marable would like to jump off to a good start, as would the Tornadoes. You remember Bowman, number 30, in the center court, along with Cannon Lamb. Amir Bowman wearing number 30, Lamb number 10. Referees, good crew, we're ready to go. Tip off goes to Bowman, and bringing it up will be Estes for Maryland. To Hoppe, and then to Garcia. Estes on the left side, playing a band-to-man -man defense. 
Garcia for three, and he'll nail it right away. Emmanuel Garcia from Puerto Rico. Went to high school at, uh, in Maribel at Bab uh, Braddock High School. And a three-point shot good by Jamarcus Johnson. Johnson's 43.1% uh, from the three-point line. That's tremendous. 3-3 three, three your score. And it's a two-point shot by Maribel. No good. Rebound under basket by Malcolm Walker. 5-3 Maribel. And they'll get the ball, and Hoppe takes the ball away. Garcia again for three, and misses it. It's Walker under the basket, and he'll lose the ball. And it's Garcia taking the ball away. Garcia. Garcia at the top again for three. He'll miss that shot. Five to three, Maribel with a minute and a half gone. And an athletic play by Jamarcus Johnson. 5-5. Estes for Maribel. He'll go to Hoppe. Estes in the paint. Gonna lay it up and good. And that's what uh, Coach Lambert right here in front of us would like to see. Seven to five, Maribel, 17. 55 left to go in this first half. Two halves. Johnson. And three-point shot by Lamb is good. It's 8-7. 8-7. Maribel down by one here at home. Ymir Bowman on the right side. Outside to Estes. Three-point shot by Maribel is good. 10-8. Estes with the shot for Maribel. Williams will bring it up. He'll go into Lamb. Lamb double team. And ball tipped away but passed outside. 12 on the shot clock. It's... To Marcus Johnson with two. I believe he's got all, oh, he's got seven of their points. Maribel's Hoppe. And it's Garcia. No call under the basket, 10 10 your score. Lamb with the layup is good. 12-10. There's Hoppe for Maribel. And the ball's knocked away, picked up by Hoppe. Amir Bowman, jump shot, no good. Rebound picked up by the Tornadoes, Williams. Top of the key now. That's Turner, and taken away by Garcia. Garcia gets hammered, no call. Tipped away by Caleb Estes. 10-10, we got a, excuse me, 12-10. It's a media timeout, 15-42 left to go. Marquise Johnson with seven points for the Brevard Tornado. And it is Cannon Lamb with five points, so the, the only scorers for Brevard. For Maribel, Caleb Estes, five points. Garcia with three. And Malcolm Walker with two. Maribel shooting four of nine. And Brevard, five of five. They have not missed a shot yet. They've scored three baskets from the floor and two from the three-point arc. 
Marable two of four from the free throw from the three point line and four of nine from the field. 12 to 10, it is the lead by Brevard. Colt Noakes and Calvin Songster going into the game. For Marable. Fifteen forty two left to go. Pavard will inbound the ball. Gaddafi Turner gets it to Williams. Williams to Johnson. To Lamb back to Johnson. A shot, no good. Amir Bowman with the deflection. Longster for three for Marable, puts it right in. It's 13-12. Johnson gonna bring it up the court. The sophomore, very athletic. Back to Lamb. Back out to Johnson. Songster on guard, back to Lamb. Lamb outside and then back in the paint. Back out to Lamb, three point shot. Off and Johnson with the rebound. And blocked by Colt Noakes. 26 seconds on the shot clock. 14.43 left to go. First half, Mirable up 13 to 12. Bavard with the ball. In the game is Levi Lamb. Gets the ball to Hopper. And now it's Cannon Lamb. Noakes going to be called for his first foul. Non-shooting foul, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Daquan Summers in for Marable also. That's Levi Lamb, 15. And now it's Johnson. He'll go back to Cannon Lamb. He'll get it outside. It's stolen by Merrill's Daquan Summers. Summers with a backhanded pass and the dunk. Flush it by Emir Bowman, 15-12. And up comes Johnson. Almost taken away again and kicked outside to Williams. Williams off the pick. Foul on Estes for Marable. Out comes Estes and in goes J.R. Uh, Sanders from uh, Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Outside to Lamb. Driving Hopper kicks it outside. And the easy layup. 15 14 with 13 39 left to go. Marable in the lead. Emir Bowman. And it's knocked away on a good play by Kenan Lamb. Levi Lamb now gets it over to Williams. Out to Johnson in the corner to Levi Lamb. Cannon Lamb, and then back outside, back to Cannon Lamb. Gonna spin, and gets it outside with five seconds on the shotgun. Long three-pointer, no good. Rebound tipped away, picked up by Marables. J.R. Sanders. Into the lane, and the basket good by Marables Daquan Summers, 17-14. Marable 12, 48 left to go, first half. And the back door, an easy basket for Hopper. 12, 30 left to go, Marable up by one, 17, 16, and pass to Noakes. 
Noakes thought the basket was going to be shot. Ball goes out of bounds. Marable turns over. In the game, Jacob Bergman. And Marable sends in Chris Watson, number 12. Lamb to Hopper. Back to Bergen. Three-point shot. Good by Jamarcus Johnson. 19-17, a 5-0 run by the Bavard Tornado. Watson for Marable. Songster. To Sanders. He'll shoot to three, and it's good. 20-19. 11:47, and you can see now Tornado's walking it up the court a little bit. Johnson, back to Bergen, to Hopper, outside to Williams, 11 on the shot clock. To Levi Lamb, then to Bergen, to Hopper, back to Bergen, shot, three-pointer, good. 22-20 with 11-12 left to go. Brevard in the lead. And we're going to get a hell ball possession. That'll go over to Brevard. Hoppe goes in. And out comes Watson. We got another media timeout or a full timeout. 11.03 left to go. Marable down by two here at home. 22 20. The Bavard Tornadoes shooting 69%. 9 of 13. They're up by two. Marable, 8 of 13. 61.5%. Marable has 4 of 6 from the three point line. Three point line, excuse me. And as do the Bavard Tornadoes, 4 of 6 from the three point line. Relatively even except for one basket. No free throws as of yet. Maribel has five turnovers and five assists. Bavard, four turnovers and five assists. Nobody in foul trouble. Maribel has two, the only two called. Maribel has eight points off the bench and five for Bavard. 11.03 left to go. Bavard will inbound the ball. First half here at Maribel. A USA South non-conference game. Bavard will be in the conference, I believe, next year. This is a Division III official contest. Inbounding the ball will be Gaddafi Turner. He's going to try to get it to Stevie Williams. Up comes Williams. Turner to Williams, and they'll go under the basket, and then they'll throw it back out to Levi Lamb with 10 on the shot clock, 10.40 on the game clock. Lamb to Kingsbury. Three-point shot is going to be no good, and the ball goes out of bounds. Not sure it hit the rim either. 10.32 left to go, Marable. 20, the Tornado 22. Up comes Caleb, excuse me, J.R. Sanders. Looks like they're in a zone defense. Under the basket, notes. And a turnover by Marable. Amir Bowman going in, and out comes Chris Watson. Bowman, 6'3", 180. And up comes Tornadoes. It's Turner. Bergen. Three-point shot is good. Off the pick, 25-20. Under 10 minutes left to go. Songster for Marable. Estes to Amir Bowman to Songster. Inside, we're going to get a hook by 
Number 22, Jacob Bergen, his first foul. Twenty seconds on the shot clock, 9.38 left to go. Goes to Noakes, Sanders in the corner, and it's Hoppo with the layup. 25-22, Marable down by three. 9.25 left to go, first period, first half. Turner, gets it to Levi Lamb. Shot by Lamb, no good, tipped away by Hoppe. Picked up by Hoppe. Hoppe gonna take it down the left side to Songster. Songster penetrates inside to Noakes. Basket good, 25-24. Nine minutes left to go, and it's Brevard in the lead. Williams with the ball. And there's that little pick again, three-pointer. Good by Bergen. That's his, uh, he's taking two of those. So it's 28-24, a four-point lead. Bergen with six points, two for two from the three-point line. 10 points for Jamarcus Johnson of Bavard. Bergen has six, as I said, Lamb five. That's Cannon Lamb, and then Levi Lamb five as well. Damari Hopper with two for Bavar. For Marable, it's five for Estes, three for Garcia, Sanders three, Songster three, Daquan Summers three. Make that two, and two each again for Walker, Bowman, and Noakes. Chris Watson, who's been in the game, no points. 28-24, Marable down by four. Got to work on that little play where they hand off and uh, to the post player, and Noak stays under the basket instead of going out to cover, to cover him. That was covered during the break. Hey, two, up, count, two. Mayor Bowman ends Hopper with a short jump shot. Too much on the shot. Basket good by Noakes, 28-26. Tornado's up by two. Up comes Jamarcus Johnson. Johnson gonna go to the lane and then kick it outside. Three point by Levi Owens. No good, picked up by Marable. Songster gonna go down the right side. 28-26, Marable down by two. Hoppa in the corner. He'll go into Noakes. Noakes with the little put back. Noakes lost the ball, 8.02 left to go. Malcolm Walker going in. Garcia going in. Out comes Songster and Noakes. 28-26, Marable down by two with eight minutes left to go in the first half as Johnson brings it up for the Tornadoes. Bergen handing off off the pick. Goes to Turner. Kicks it outside to Johnson, and Johnson going to take that extra step, I believe, for a foul. Foul's going to be on Bergen. That's his second foul. And we'll have another timeout. 7.42 left to go in this game. Team stats, 10 of 18, make it at 11 of 18 for Brevard. 61%, Marable is 11 of 18. Four says 61%, can't be, but similar. Marable four of six from the three-point line. Bavard six of 10, and nobody has thrown a free throw. Both teams with two fouls. Marable six turnovers now, seven assists. They've turned that around. Bavard five turnovers and seven assists. Marable eight rebounds, Bavard six. Marable with four steals and one block, and the Brevard Tornadoes with four steals and no blocks. Marable will come down the court. Bowman will inbound the ball, and it'll go to number 10, Caleb Estes, the junior from Covington, Tennessee. Garcia in the corner for three, and it's in. 29-28, Marable broke that 
trap quite well. Here we go to uh, Bergen again, outside to Kingsbury. Kingsbury to Turner, and Turner throws the ball away, tried to get it into Levi Lamb. Lamb from Atlanta, Georgia, Levi Lamb, six feet four, 160 pound sophomore. Plays about 31 minutes a game. 7.05 left to go, Maribel up by one, 29-28. Garcia, and we're going to go around the horn. Little jump shot by Maribel, too much, and picked up by Estes. And ball on the ground, picked up by Bowman. Then Garcia gets it. 28 on the shot clock, 6.35 left to go in this half. Maribel up by one, and they'll go to Walker. And there's going to be a basket and a foul. And that's the third foul on Jacob Bergen. With 6.29 left to go. Excuse me, that isn't Jacob Bergen. That's uh, Cannon Lamb, his first. Going to the line to shoot two. The basket was no good. Is Walker, well, he'll shoot. And Maribel gets the basket. 31-28 to Hoppe inside. And we got a foul as well. Basket by Malcolm Walker. It's good. Foul on number 10, Cannon Lamb. That's his second. He just got one a second ago. Malcolm Walker going to get one shot. Maribel up 33-28. Walker shooting 62% from the free throw line. Walker from Franklin, Tennessee, and he'll miss that one. And then the rebound comes down to Levi Lamb. Hopper coming up for the Tornadoes. And the shot from the corner, good by Jamarcus Johnson. Jamarcus, every time he shoots, looks over here at the bench and gives him a smile. 33-30, Maribel up by three. Hoppe to Garcia. Garcia to Bowman. Bowman pulls up from the foul line, shoots, and the tip in good by Maribel's Malcolm Walker. 35-30, 5.30 left to go in this first half. Williams. Turner, and it's tipped away by Amir Bowman, and Bowman's gonna go down with a dunk, and he misses it. And the follow-up basket good by Emmanuel Garcia. 37-30, 5.10 left to go. Garcia with the foul. That's his first. Songster and Summers going in. Out comes Garcia and Emir Bowman. Getting ready to inbound the ball will be Qaddafi Turner from Wilmington, North Carolina. Ashley High School. Turner, seven points per game. Williams with the ball, gets it to Levi Lamb. He'll kick it out and saving the ball was Turner. Gets it to Levi Lamb and to Marquise Johnson, to Williams. Williams got away with a step and Lamb for three, rim around the rim and up goes Maribel, rebounds Calvin Songster, 37-30 Maribel. And ball knocked away and then picked up and knocked away by Maribel. It's a two on two break. And running over Qaddafi Turner 
No breaks by Malcolm Walker. That's a foul. It's his first foul. Out goes Turner for the Tornadoes, and out goes Estes for Maribel. We get the ball to Hopper. To Bergen, and then to Johnson. And the layup is good. 37-32, 409 left to go. One more. And the ball is blocked. Picked up by Williams. Williams coming up. Foul going to be on J.R. Sanders, his first foul. And that will be a timeout, 3.51 left to go. Maribel up 37-32. 3.51 left to go, as I said. The Tornadoes are shooting 13 of 21 for 62%. Maribel 16 of 29 for 55%. Maribel from the three-point line shooting five of seven and the Tornado six of 11. Nobody shot a free throw yet. Maribel six turnovers, 10 assists. The Tornado seven turnovers, seven assists. Maribel with 14 rebounds and the Tornadoes with nine. Scoring wise, 12 points for Marquise Johnson. His average is 14. Six for Bergen, five for Cannon Land, five for Levi Land, four for Damari Hopper. For Maribel, Emmanuel Garcia, eight points. Malcolm Walker, eight points. Estes, five. Colton Oaks, four. Sanders, three. Three for Songster, two each for Summers, Hoppe, and Emir Bowman. So we get ready to go, and it will be inbounded by the Tornadoes. 27 on the shot clock, 3.51 left to go first half. Maribel leading 37-32 NCAA Division Three game. Non-conference game. Marquise Johnson with the shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Hoppe. Hoppe gonna push it to Sanders, to Summers. Back to Sanders. 3.30 left to go. 15 on the shot clock. Driving to the basket, passing it to Hoppe for three, and he'll nail it. 40 to 32. Maribel up by eight with three, 10 left to go in this first half. And Jamarcus Johnson coming up to Hoppe, to Bergen, and taken away by Hoppe. Outside. One more. <laughs> Goes to six. Summers, knocked out of bounds off Maribel. And I'll tell you what, uh, Jacob Bergen got away with a hold on the transition. He needs to watch out because uh, I believe the referee's going to call that one next time. 40 to 32, 2.45 left to go. Maribel leading here in the first half. Hopper. It's Bergen. And knocked away by Maribel with 13 on the clock. And blocked by Noakes. Bergen with the rebound. He'll get it outside to Johnson. He'll kick it out into the corner. And it's going to be Bergen again with. And we got a jump ball. Noakes sticks his hands in there. It's a hell ball possession. Turnover goes against the Tornadoes, Maribel with the ball. 2.14 left to go in this first half. Maribel up 40 to 32. Up comes Caleb Estes, the junior from Covington, Tennessee. Songster from Johnson City with the ball to Hoppe, to Bowman. Bowman gets it to Hoppe. Hoppe gonna drive and he'll be fouled before the shot. Foul going to be on Damari Hopper, his first. Hey, hey, wheel, wheel. 
20 seconds on the shot clock. Just under two minutes left to go. 40 to 32, Merrill. Goes to Bowman, and Bowman with the shot. Songster gonna drive, and we got a foul. No, the ball was knocked out of bounds by Blue. 152 left, 16 seconds on the play clock. Maribel up by eight, 40 to 32. Get over. To Noakes underneath has the ball blocked from behind. And up comes Marquise Johnson. Blocked by Amir Bowman, kicks it outside. Three point shot, no good, didn't hit the rim. And Maribel with a three on three break. Songster pulls up for three and he nails it. 43 32. Maribel on transition with 130 left to go, lead by 11. Hopper. And he'll go inside. And the dunk by Levi Lamb makes it 43-34. 105 left to go. Hoppa with the ball. And inside. And the basket good. 45. And Merrill takes a timeout. 45-34. 56 seconds left to go in this first half. So Maribel with the timeout. Garcia with eight points. Maribel spreading it out. Got Garcia with eight. Malcolm Walker with eight. Songster six, Noakes six, Estes five, Hoppa five, three, two, two. That's Sanders, Daquan Summers, and Amir Bowman. It's 12 points for the Brevard star player, Jamarcus Johnson. Seven and six and five for Levi Lamb, Jacob Bergen, and Cannon Lamb. Four for Damari Hopper. 55 seconds left to go. Merrill up by 11, 45-34. They'll get it over in the corner. Johnson will kick it out to Williams. Williams with the ball, gets it back to Levi Lamb. 11 on the shot clock. It's a direct traffic. Marquise Johnson with the layup. Rebound comes to Amir Bowman. Shot clock off, game clock at 20. 45-34. Maribel can extend the lead before halftime. J.R. Sanders to Hoppe, nine seconds. Songster gonna pull up, shoot the three. No good, tip it away. Ball on the ground as time expires. And a good hustle there by both players. That would have been uh, Levi Lamb and Emir Bowman in good sportsmanship as Bowman helped Lamb off the floor. Halftime, 45-34, Marable leading here at home. Boydson H. Baird Gymnasium, the historic gymnasium. This is Randy Lambert Court. This is George DeBobby, and I'll be back momentarily.
Welcome back, everybody. Halftime here at Marable College, 45-34. I was talking to my uh, good friend Greg Judkins here who does the PA, and we both agreed all of a sudden it was a 25-20 to lead by the uh, Tornadoes, and the next thing we know it's a 10-point lead by Marable, it, it, 11. It, it happened quickly, that's for sure. I, I uh, uh, Brevard gets the ball up and down the floor, and they, and they get that shot in the air really quickly. And, of course, we've seen that before from uh, Pfeiffer. I think Division Two is is uh, that's, fast-paced. That's uh, where Brevard came which from. Which is where Brevard and Pfeiffer are both reclassifying from. They're transitioning. I guess next year will be their first official year. I or guess. Or do they have to meet certain standards? I, I, don't, know. I, I don't know the, the I know. whole story on that. But. I know they have to meet certain standards, but I'm not sure – if they have to do it all at once is my I, yeah I don't know the deadlines and stuff yeah they have to meet certain standards but anyway it's 45 35 right here right now Marable leading and uh, we've got uh, just some percentages Bavard was shooting about 68 percent until about five minutes left to go in the half and they're down to 51.9 still a, a great percentage point and that's from the field from the three-point arc they're at 46.2 percent no free shots have been been uh, shot by Brevard. Marable shooting 19 of 34 for 56%, 7 of 10 from the free th- from the three-point arc. They've shot two free throws and missed them both. Those were the uh, tail end of a uh, one-shot foul after a basket. So. What do you think's happening? What happened all of a sudden? They just went cold. Well, I'm looking here, and Brevard has played a total of eight players, and one of them only played five minutes, another one only nine minutes. Uh, so in that, that my first reaction is that they need more depth. We played 10 or 11, 10, and, well, Chris Watson only had two minutes, but the rest of them are seven or eight at least. Uh, when you can – when you can substitute in and out, it sure helps, and uh, I think that's that's worked for our advantage because that's when the scores seem to tilt in our favor in in the uh, in the second half there. And you've got the second uh, half of the half there. Number two, Damari Hopper with 13, Gaddafi Turner number three with 11, Cannon Lamb number 10 with nine, 18 each for Stevie Williams number 11, and Jamarcus Johnson number 14. Five for Cavell Kingsbury. Levi Lamb, 15. He usually plays uh, quite a bit. And then you got Jacob Bergen, who went in there for 11. Foul trouble, um, not sure anybody's got any foul well, trouble except uh, for Cannon Lamb's got two, and, and Jacob Bergen. Bergen has two. For They're two big guys. Yeah. Uh, and that would have limited their playing time. That would have affected those numbers. Boy, 18 minutes uh, at that pace is, is hard to do. Yeah, you, Even Pfeiffer substituted people in and out. So. Yeah, Stevie Williams with uh, 18 minutes at a total of 20, right. as is Jamarcus Johnson with a total of uh, 18 as well. Maribel's, it would be uh, Amir, B- Amir Bowman with 16. As you'd expect, yeah. yeah and you got Dante Hoppe, Dante. as we'd expect, 15. But, uh, it's uh, you know, Noakes in there with 12 and Malcolm Walker with 8. That's pretty good. Yeah, really. And uh, – uh, you know, you can when you can play different players and and give a guy a, a rest for a minute. That sure makes a big difference, and especially when your opponent is trying to go at this pace. Yeah, trying to run you out of the stadium. <laughs> they, they are quick and they're very athletic, very talented team. And and they're doing what they need to do to win. I, I like their game plan. But yeah, they, uh, they when they set up initially, you can see they set up way well, out high yes, to yes. try to draw you out to create driving lanes to the basket. It's a simple, you know, technique, and they've used it very effectively. You know, they came from the SAC, the Southern Athletic Conference, I believe. I that's believe, right. With Winthrop and uh, Carson Newman. Mars Hill, Newberry. Uh, Lenore Rhine. Lenore Rhine, Tusculum. Anderson, all those schools that are Division II schools. And, uh, you know, we've seen a couple of those schools play. We've, yeah. We used to play Carson, Carson Newman. Newman. And they, they play that. Carson Newman would be a little bit bigger. So one thing this team doesn't have is a lot of height. And they don't they get basically one shot because they're right. in transition. They've got a trouble with transition, though, because Maribel has a little bit of speed as well. True. So on transition, uh, they don't have the edge that they have with maybe some other teams. So 
There's been a couple of, of baskets that Maribel's gotten. And uh, Maribel with a lot of turnovers today. Um, you know, their turnover, I, now as I said, they, I look at it, they've got seven turnovers. Seven. And uh, they've got 13 assists, which is pretty That's good. That's good, but then you look at Brevard on that same set of statistics, right. and it's seven assists and nine turnovers. So, uh, again, they're forcing the issue, and they're going at a fast pace, so that's going to happen. Yeah, and, you know, you want to try to make it one-to-one, one, one turnover no, to each no, assist. Right. You don't and want Brevard's on the underside of that. Right. Maribel's almost doubled it. It's almost two-to-one. So that's pretty good, and that's the way – you know, a Coach Lambert team plays. They, they assist. Do. And you can hear the coaches in front of me. Sometimes I can't see because they've extended the <laughs> coaches' line out um, this season officially. No one consulted you and I about that. No, so. and all I'm looking is Randy's behind <laughs> half the time. And, uh, well, it's his court. I figure it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. But He's uh, earned that. It's a, a fast-paced game. And, you know, look for Bavard now that they've got some some – win back you know they'll come right. out pretty strong and yes that's what you know uh coach uh lee burgess is going to try to do come out and get the lead back and maribel on right. the other hand is going to go the other way and say okay let's get the first stop possession hour is at bavard so they'll have the ball first so it's a big first series as bavard comes out on the court a big first series for bavard to get at least two points here to cut the lead under double figures so it's 45 35 45-34 here at Maribel. Uh, thank you, Greg Judkins, for thank your you, help. Thank you, George. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. George DeBobby here at Maribel College. And uh, with the Scots leading by a score of 45-34. Again, uh, an ungodly shooting average for both teams. Uh, the Bar Tornadoes average from the field, 43.4%. They're shooting 52% right now. They are 14 of 27 from the field. Marable uh, averages from the field, 47%. They're shooting at 56% right now. They are 19 of 34 from the field. They are 7 of 10 from the three-point arc. Uh, the Brevard Tornadoes are 6 of 13 from the three-point arc, 46%. We get ready to go, see who Marable will start. It looks like Songster will go in and also um, Colt Noakes. 
Nope, it will be Emmanuel Garcia and also Malcolm Walker. Walker really has a had a pretty good uh, first half if we get ready to go. Malcolm Walker uh, in his eight minutes, eight points and three rebounds. And here we go. Brevard inbounds. Johnson will inbound the ball to Williams and they'll switch around. And it goes to Williams and uh, probably the most athletic player out here. It's the ball to Cannon Lamb. And Garcia tips it out of bounds. With 19 on the shot clock. Opening minute of play in the second half. Maryville up 45-34. Stevie Williams to Johnson. Pulls up inside the three-point line and he nails it. Excuse me, that's Johnson. Johnson now with 14 points. Maribel up by nine. Bowman to Hopper. A mismatch inside. Hopper inside. Little floater. No good. By Maribel. Cannon land at the baseline. Blocked by Marable. It's on Bavard, number 10, Cannon Lamb. That's his third foul. 45-36. Just under a minute gone in the half. And up comes Marable's. Estes to Bowman to Garcia. He's got kind of a mismatch on a couple of these. And that's going to be a foul. That's going to be Johnson, his first. <laughs> 20 on the shot clock. 18.54 left to go in the game. Maribel up 45-36. Estes to Garcia to Walker, back door. And the ball goes off Marable as some quick hands there by Jamarcus Johnson. Let's go! Johnson guarded by Marable's Garcia. Ball in the hands of Bergen. And then Garcia again, quick hands, knocking it out. 18.30 left to go in the game. Maribel up by nine, 16 seconds on the play clock. Goes to Johnson. Williams inside to Hopper. Outside to Bergen. Three-point shot, good by Gaddafi Turner. A six-point lead. It's a 5-0 run by the Bavard Tornadoes to come out of the half. Three-point shot by Marable. No good. Rebound tip, tipped, picked up by Bavard's Turner. Turner going to go down the right side. And just what you don't want to happen is to uh, let your lead go. Bergen. Hand off to Hopper, and Marable takes the ball away. And it goes out, long pass left side. Garcia's going to shoot three, no good. Rebound, and a tip in good by Amir Bowman. And 47-39, Marable up. Williams to Bergen to Marquise Johnson. And tipped away and picked up by Marable. It's a one-on-one -on -one break. It's going to be Hoppe. He'll be fouled as he goes to the basket. Fouls on number two, Damari Hopper, his second. Two shots by Dante Hopper of Marable. Hoppe goes to the line, shooting... 
76% from the free throw line. He is now 38 of 46, the junior from Naples, Florida. By the way, Maryville doesn't have a senior on the team. 17.07 left to go. Maryville up by nine. Second shot, good. Hoppin out with, uh, got him with seven points, 17.06 left to go. Maribel up by 10. Johnson, and he'll get it back to Bergen. Outside to Williams, down line, and outside to Bergen. It's Johnson for three, no good, rebound. Going to be picked up and saved, and they'll go back door. Shot no good. Colton Oaks with the foul, his second. Two shots, going to the line will be Jacob Bergen from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, shoots 65% from the free throw line, 49-49. Hey, that's your rebound right there that you just stood and watched, the one that kicked out. And that's good off the rim. Bergen, 6'5", uh, 205, a sophomore. 49-40 your score, Maribel up by nine. 16-35 left to go in this game. Second shot, no good. Merrill's Hoppe with the rebound. And up quickly comes Estes to Hoppe to Garcia. To Songster. Back to Hoppe. He'll shoot. And he'll nail it for three. And it's 52 40. Largest lead of the game. Come on! The 16 15 mark. Top of the key, Bergen. He'll go back door. And Noakes stopped it with his foot. Should uh, set the shot clock to 20. I guess they don't. 13 on the shot clock. Bergen. See what they put on the clock. They put six seconds on the clock, and that'll be a timeout. 52 40, Maribel up by 12. That's the largest lead of the game. Hopping out with 10 points for Maribel. Garcia, eight, as well as Walker with eight. Six and six for Calvin Songster and Colton Oaks. 5-4-3-2 for Estes, Bowman, and J.R. Sanders, and then Daquan Summers. For the Brevard Tornadoes, Marquise Johnson right out of average with 14, 7-7 seven and seven for Levi Lamb and Jacob Bergen. 5-4-3 for Cannon Lamb, Damari Hopper, Fudafi Turner. 52-40. Fifteen fifty-nine left to go in the game. Maribel up by 12. I want to thank uh, some sponsors today. Ken Joe Markets, Firehouse Subs, Realty Trust Group, and LeConte Wealth Management. With 16 on the clock, the ball is inbounded by the Tornadoes. Bergen with the ball. He'll go back door and Tar Turner with the easy basket. Garcia got beat on the back door. Hopper for Maribel. Songster in the corner. Songster going to go to the basket. Back out to Sanders inside and the basket good. The assist from J.R. Sanders. Hopper now with 12 points. At 
No. And Owen, excuse me, uh, Levi Lamb for two. 54, 44, 15 minutes left to go. Songster, got that zone defense, it'll switch, and a turnover by Maryland. Bergen. Ball just thrown up. No good. Shot up. No good. Tipped away. Picked up by Marable finally. 54 44. 14 25 left to go. Hoppe going to go to the basket in and out. Garcia for three. Around the rim. Tipped away. Picked up by the Tornadoes and Johnson going to come down. He was fouled before the act of shooting. Foul on Songster, his first foul. Mir Bowman goes in along with the Quan Summers. Out comes Hoppe and Manuel Garcia. 24 in the shot clock, 14 12 left to go. Tipped away by Marables to Quan Summers. 23 on the shot clock, and it will be. Stevie Williams inbounding the ball. Williams from High Point, North Carolina. Johnson with the ball. And good job by Colton Oaks. Ball goes off the blue shirts, which is Brevard. 54-54. left again. Right. Ball goes to Amir Bowman of Maribel. To Summers. Summers going to go to the baseline. Does not shoot outside to Maribel Sanders. He'll get his own rebound. And saved. <laughs> Says out on Maribel. 13 33 left to go in this game. Maribel up by 10. 54-44. And up comes Bavard. Williams. And they'll get it around to Marcus Johnson. Out high. Three-point shot by Johnson is no good. Rebound Colton Oaks of Maribel. Gets it out to Songster. Songster, and there's gonna be a foul by Jamarcus Johnson, his second. That's his second foul this half. 54-44, 13-10, left to go in the game. Maribel up. Sanders with the ball. And Sanders could not see what happens, but it went off the blue shirts, according to the officials. 13 minutes left to go in the game. Maribel up by 10, 15 on the shot clock. Goes to Summers. Summers gonna go to the basket. It'll be blocked by Damari Hopper. You got five seconds on the shot clock. Songster going to have to shoot pretty quick. Does not shoot. And ball goes out of bounds. They're saying that uh, the ball went out of bounds, or the shot clock went off before the ball went out of bounds. Clearly did not, but it's pretty close. 12.40 left to go. 
Merrill up by 10, 54-44 over Brevard. Levi Lamb, and then to Johnson. To Levi Lamb. Lamb kicks it outside to Cannon Lamb. He'll throw it out into the corner to Hopper, and back to Johnson, back to Lamb. He'll put it up, and he'll be fouled. Late whistle. Foul on Emir Bowman, his first. Getting two shots will be Cannon Lamb. 73% from the free throw line. Maribel up by 10. Lamb has five points up to now. And he'll miss that shot. He was 17 of 23 before that, before today's game. 54-44. Maribel up by 10. Second shot, good. Maribel was up by 11, now they're up by nine. They're 11 at halftime. Summers, out to Amir Bowman. Songster with a long three-pointer, and he'll put it in. 57-45, 11-59 left to go. And tipped away, and it's Summers going to pick it up, and he'll lay it in for good, 59. 45. 11.35 left to go in the game. Johnson. And Songster with a great block picked up by Marable's J.R. Sanders. Going to push it up the court. Trailing behind. Three-point shot. Around the rim. Rebound comes down to Johnson. And Songster steals it on the return. 11-13 left to go. Maribel up by 14, largest lead of the game. And the little shot, no good. Rebound comes down to the ground and picked up by Brevard. Good hands there by Stevie Williams. He's got the ball right now. 10-50 left to go. Things have slowed down a little bit. Long three-point shot, good by Levi Lamb. 59-48, and uh, up the court comes Marable. And we're gonna have a foul under the basket. Foul gonna be on Stevie Williams of Brevard, his first. and we'll get a timeout. 10.26 left to go in the game. Marable leading 59-48. And uh, 14 points for Marquise Johnson of Brevard. He's the leading scorer and 12 for Levi Lamb. Seven, six, five, four for Bergen, Lamb, Gaddafi, and Damari. Hopper, make that Cannon Lamb, Gaddafi Turner, Damari Hopper. For Marable, 12 points for Dante Hopper, leads all Marable scores. Nine points for Emmanuel Garcia, make that eight. Nine points for Songster, Malcolm Walker, eight. Six for Colt Noakes, five for Caleb Estes, four and four for Daquan Summers and Emir Bowman, three for J.R. Sanders. 59-48, Maryville up by 11, 10-26 left to go. Hoppe going to inbound. No, two shots uh, going to the line for two is Daquan Summers. Summers shoots 76% from the free throw line before today. He was 34 for 45. 6'1", 170 pound sophomore from Nashville's Hillwood High School. First one's good, it's 60. 248. 
Second one, no good. Rebound comes down to Brevard. And up comes Brevard's Williams. Levi Lamb to Cavell Kingsbury. Fouls on Malcolm Walker. Four team fouls now. Outside to Levi Lamb. To Williams. And now in the hands of Kingsbury. And that was a stuff. Say it's on Malcolm Walker. His third. Duff, 60 to 48. Going to the line to shoot two is Cavell Kingsbury, 21 of 28 before today's game, and he'll make that good, making it 60 to 49 with 10.02 left to go. And no good. Rebound comes Marable, 60 to 49. Amir Bowman, and it goes to Dantarius Bray, Bray from LaGrange, Georgia. Bray with the ball, 10 seconds, he'll shoot a three. No good, rebound comes down to Hoppe, and Hoppe knocks the ball away, and then it goes off, according to the officials, off Levi Lamb from Harper, or Haperville Charter, in Atlanta, Georgia, 6-4-160. Outside to Amir Bowman. 9.35 left to go in the game. Hoppe to the basket, puts up two. Malcolm Walker with the rebound. Back out to Hoppe for two. No good, rebound comes down and then goes out of bounds off Brevard. 60 to 49, Maribel leading 9-18 left to go. Thirty seconds on the shot clock. 9-18 left to go in the game. Hoppa for Maribel. And he goes around to Bray. Back to Bowman. And Garcia is going to shoot a quick three. No good. Walker with the putback. And good. Malcolm Walker now with 10 points. Nine minutes left to go, 62-49. Ball gets back outside. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Merrill. That was Levi Lamb with the shot. Rebound comes to Emmanuel Garcia. In the corner to Hoppe. To Dantarius Bray. To Garcia. Garcia with the good crossover, reverse layup, good for Emmanuel Garcia now with 10 points. 64, 49, 823 left to go. Shot up, no good. Rebound on Terry Spray. Gonna give it to Walker. Walker in the corner to Garcia. And Marable just holds up. Smart decision. And there's Walker under the basket for the dunk. And Maribel up 66-49. 7.55 left to go. Largest lead of the game. Cannon Lamb with the ball. He'll hand it off to Kingsbury. Ball on the ground, picked up by Garcia. Two on two break. Ray, no look pass to Garcia. Make that Hoppe under the basket. Hoppe has the ball stripped. Seven twenty left to go. No whistle on that play. Coach Lambert wanted the foul. He didn't get it. Cannon Lamb. Back to Cannon Lamb. Williams. 
knocked away. And William picks it up, misses the shot. Picked up by Malcolm Walker, who's having a good game. 6.55, we'll get a timeout from Coach Lambert. 6.51 left to go in the game. Maribel up 66-49 here at home. Malcolm Walker now with 12 points, along with Dante Happa, 12 points. Levi Lamb of Brevard with 12 points. And Marquise Johnson with 14. You can hear uh, Coach Lambert saying they're tired. And uh, that's basically, they have not scored in over three minutes. In fact, since the 10-26 mark, which is four and a half minutes, they've only scored one point, and that was a free throw at the 10-02 uh, mark. discussion with the officials. 66-49, your score. Maribel leading here at home. Coach Lambert, over a 1,000 games coached here at Maribel. 694 wins. Emmanuel Garcia, Manny Garcia, 10 points, will inbound the ball. Nice kill. In the game right now is uh, Tanner Spaulding, 32 in the baseline. Play in the post. Songster. To Summers for the NBA three. He'll get his own rebound to Garcia in the corner. He'll shoot a three. No good. Rebound comes down to the, and we got a held ball, and the possession goes to Maribel. And we get a timeout, the mandatory media timeout in this conference. We don't ask for them, they just give them to us. So while we have a chance, let's thank some of our sponsors. Our key sponsors for this season are the Blunt Partnership, Jasper Highlands, Premier Transportation, safely taking Maribel wherever they go, and the Smoky Mountain Brewery, some great food over there in uh, Maribel. Also the Hotels of choice for Maribel are the Hampton Inn, the Hilton, La Quinta Inns and Suites, Courtyard Marriott, and Holiday Inn Express. Uh, staying at one of those hotels, you can't go wrong when you visit Maribel. Also, we'd like to thank Ken Joe Markets, Firehouse Subs, Realty Trust Group, Greg Gein, involved in that, LeConte Wealth Management. We'd like to thank those people also for their support. And here we go. Six and a half minutes left to go. 6.29, exactly, 66.49. Maribel in the lead. This is a Division Three game, but not a conference game as Brevard is transitioning from Division Two to Division Three. So they are ineligible for conference play. Goes to Spalding. Jump shot. And good by Amir Bowman. Bowman now with six points. 68-49. Hopper goes to Johnson. Shot no good, rebound comes down to Merrill. Good save by Emmanuel Garcia. In the corner to Songster. Songster, Garcia, Garcia for three, and he nails it. 71-49 at the 540 mark. Garcia now with 10 points. Three-point shot is gonna be good by Gaddafi Turner. So 71-52, on, 
at the 525 mark. Bavard, since the 1026 mark, so let's call it five minutes, have scored three points. So three points in uh, four minutes. Excuse me, that's uh, five minutes. Not real good. And Marable in that time has scored 12 points. Marable has ballooned the lead. 71-52. 19 points by Marable. Marable has the ball as well. That three-pointer by Turner gave him eight points. Manuel Garcia leads all Marable scorers with 13, but Hoppin Walker with 12 apiece. Garcia gonna go to the line, misses it. Spalding for two. Under the basket, kicks it outside. Three-point shot by Merrill. Drained it by Calvin Songster. And we got a whistle. Noakes going in. Coach Lambert doesn't want to hear the issue. Tanner Spaulding with a technical foul. Can hear Coach uh, for Marable saying good call, but he's been hooking. A likely story. Going to the line is Marquise Johnson with 14 points today. 5.02 left to go, and the score is now 75-52. Shot goes up, and that one's missed. Seventy-four, fifty-three, five hundred two. 53, 502. Marable with 16 fouls now. Johnson with the ball for Brevard. Under five minutes left to go. Levi Lamb back out, three-point shot, no good. Ball comes out to Levi Lamb and kicks it outside. Three-point shot, good by Stevie Williams. 74-56, 4.30 left to go. Fifteen points for Johnson. And Gaddafi Turner now with eight. Songster. Yeah, we're gonna get a foul on Noakes. His third, second this half. 4.18 left to go, Maryville up by 18. Hoppe in the game, and out comes Manny Garcia. And it will be Marquise, Jamar, excuse me, Mar, Jamarquise, Johnson with the ball to Hopper. Williams, top of the key to Lamb. And it's Williams again for three, and he nails it. And they're raining down threes, 74, 59. 345 left to go. Near Bowman for Marable. To Songster. To Hoppe in the lane. Nice move by Dante Hoppe of Marable. 76 59. 325 left to go. Up comes Jamarcus Johnson. He'll go to the line. And they'll get it out high to Cannon Lamb. 
to Levi Lamb for three, and he'll get another three. 76-62, it's down to 14 points with three minutes left. It was 20. Bowman for Marable. To Estes, to Songster. And you're gonna get a foul by 14. Jamarcus Johnson, his third. 16 fouls against the Brevard in the blue shirts, but the lead now is 14. Seven straight points by the Brevard Tornadoes. It's a seven to two run. 76-62 with three minutes left to go. Make that 249. Leading all scorers is Marquise, Jamarquise Johnson with 15. He's tied with Levi Lamb of Bavard for 15. Eight for Gaddafi Turner. Seven for Jacob Bergen. Six for Cannon Lamb. Six for Stevie Williams, four for Damari Hopper, and one for Cavell Kingsbury. Marable's leading score is Dante Hopper with 14. 13 for Emmanuel Garcia. Calvin Songster, 13. Walker, 12. Six apiece for Bowman and Noakes. Five apiece for Summers and Caleb Estes. And three for J.R. Sanders. Marable with 20 on the shot clock. Lead by 14. Big, big possession here. Songster for two. And Songster, 78 62. 2.30 left to go. Marable looking. Back door. Blocked by Hoppe. He'll call Hoppe for the foul. A little too much body. Well, they're going to call Caleb Estes with the foul. Going to the line to shoot. Yeah, foul is on 20, not 10. Foul's on Hoppe. and basket is 78-64 with 2.17 left to go. 14 points, Marable leads. Sanders, now it's Emir Bowman. Songster to Bowman, back to Songster. Two minutes left to go, three point shot, nope. There's Songster with nine seconds on the clock. Three point shot by Maribel at the buzzer. No good, 144 left to go. Maribel up 78-64. Back door. Shot good by Cannon Lamb. Now the lead is 12 with 1.15 left to go. Conte Hoppe with the ball. A four possession game, but uh, Song's there for Maryland into an Oaks. And it's Amir Bowman with the dunk. 80 to 66, under a minute left to go. Fifty-five point eight seconds left to go. Maribel up by 14. And into the game right now is 
D'Angelo Ellis from Atlanta, Georgia. And he'll get the ball to, I don't have that young man's name. Outside, back to Ellis. In the paint, back out, three-point shot. Good by Eric Evans. 35 seconds left to go. We got a timeout, and we got number five. Number four is Kobe Williams. Five, D'Angelo Ellis. There's a uh, five second difference on the shot clock. And number five for Marable is Malcolm Taylor. Taylor with the pass to Amir Bowman. Backwards dunk, no good. Break away and down the court and knocked away by D'Angelo Ellis. With 11 seconds left to go, Marable up 80 to 69. Kobe Williams will inbound the ball. He'll get it out to Eric Evans. They try to go inside, and now it's Colton Oaks with five seconds left to go. Marable wins it, going away, 80 to 69. Marable wins, going to 16 and five. And uh, in the conference, they still have that lead. They are 12 and one in the conference. I'll take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll get some stats for you and talk to the victorious head coach, Coach Randy Lamb. We've had some excitement here at the table as we've had a couple of people falling, but uh, in any event, Marimel wins today going away. And uh, now that they've messed up my stats, here we go. Anyway, Marimel wins today 80 to 69, going to 16 and five. Coach Lambert's 695th win.